Hello, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and today my guest is Jessica McCarthy, the Gallery Director Manager at Green Hut Galleries. Hi, Jessica. Hi. <laughs> um, now you've done something special here. We're we're at the um, gallery for the Union of Maine Visual Artists, and you've curated this show. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. It's called Monsters. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, initially the idea had been somewhat political to um, have a politically themed charged show, which um, I can get behind, but uh, what I really wanted was to have a few breaks in the show. I wanted to open it up um, to uh, bring in other pieces that make you feel, you know, uh, monstrous, that have this kind of creepy quality to them. Um, sort of so make your skin crawl a exactly. bit. Exactly. <laughs> Something that's also, you know, gets into the feeling of Halloween in addition to the elections. So. Which makes October a perfect month to have the show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, you've chosen um, from among many artists, not just the Union of Maine Visual Artists, mm -hmm. but some of the Green Hut artists. You want to tell yeah. us a little bit about um, some of the artists who are in the show? Maybe not about them, but you know why you chose them. Sure. Um, well, we got a flood of submissions, um, which was really fun to sort through. A lot of great work came in. Um, uh, but I did open it up to more than just Union of Maine visual artists. I just because of the theme of the show, not every artist does monsters or anything um, that might fit in with that theme. So I did have to widen my scale a little bit. And um, of course, working at Green Hut, I do have the opportunity to work with a number of very wonderful artists, and some of those fit in perfectly with the show. So. Yeah. And and one person's monster isn't necessarily another person's monster. Exactly. So yeah. so the range and and just looking around here, it's amazing. Yeah, you got quite a range, <laughs> a lot of different things. But I think that's what makes a fun show is to have a variety and um, to have all those different visions. Well, terrific. Let's go look at some of these wonderful sure. pieces yeah. and talk yeah. about them. Sure. Well, this piece, um, uh, Eating Lobster by Nancy Barnes, yeah. is, I love this piece. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's one of my personal favorites. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah, tell, yeah. tell me why you chose this. Well, um, I love Nancy's work. Um, she's, uh, I've gotten familiar with it over the years working at Green Hunt Galleries. Um, this one in particular, I think, just is perfect for the show. It's got that... Uh, ominous feeling about it. You know, she's about to bite into this lobster, or maybe the lobster's going to bite into her, you're not sure. <laughs> but, um, you know, and it's, plus it's so, it's so quintessential Maine, um, but um, mostly it was about the feeling and the humor. Yeah. And, and, and it feels like, you know, when they're interrogating you yes. under the spotlight. Absolutely. You know, and then the main thing, with the, the way the shadow is cast over the figure in there, it, it almost looks like the, the lobsterman's yellow rain gear that they mm -hmm. wear. And, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, and I, you I can't forget the, yeah, the deer in the corner. Just sort of watching, you yeah. know. There's a lot of, you know, who's the monster in this? The, yeah, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. Who is the monster? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, who knows? Mm -hmm. I think it's the artist to tell, but mm -hmm. it could also be the viewer who mm -hmm. makes that decision. Mm -hmm. Um, another th notable thing about this painting is the surface texture. Um, it's really gorgeous, and this particular artist, she um, adds medium into the paint so that mm -hmm. you get that interesting. Oh, it is wonderful. I mean, and you, you look at the tablecloth, and you, you just you want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> I love it. This is one of my, I mean, this... I just adore this piece. And yeah. the first time I saw it, it was just in the window. Mm -hmm. And people were going by and stopping, and little children just looking at this piece. And, mm -hmm. and then when I walked into work the next day, it was hanging on the wall. And I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> it looks like it could come alive. Yeah, that's, that was part of the reason why I hung it here, was that coming around the corner, I wanted that surprise um, to be right there. So. Uh, 
And it's a beautiful piece, really, getting up close, seeing all sides of it. Each side has something completely different. Um, and unfortunately, we can only see this side, but that's why you need to come to the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you can look under it. You can, I mean, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It's gorgeous. Um, and there's a lot of different aspects to this piece, uh, a lot of different materials used. Um, there's a violin that has been incorporated into this piece, all different pieces uh, for the teeth, for the eye on this side. Um, so this is really a creative beautiful piece. Uh, and, and every time you look at it, you see something you didn't see the last time. And mm -hmm. I trust me, I look at it every day. <laughs> yeah. And tell us the artist. So the artist, uh, Rich Entel, um, does beautiful work. And he, he was a little concerned saying, well, my work isn't really monsters. Um, they're, uh, you know, more spiritual animals. And uh, but I love this piece so much, I just really wanted to have it for the show. And again, it's not necessarily monsters, it's um, a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that this achieved a different part of that feeling. And also along with the feeling of monsters, is dealing with those, facing those monsters, and seeing that they're not really as scary as you might think. Yes, they might not be a monster at all, mm -hmm. they might be a beautiful, part of you. Gator. Yeah. Well, when I first saw these, I thought they were going to start crawling all over everything. <laughs> I mean, they are amazing with that little eyeball and the, they just look like they're ready to start coming after me. <laughs> I know. You can picture how they might move. Um, and they were really a lot of fun to set up, too, uh, because, you know, they're individuals and you can make the arrangement however you see fit. And uh -huh. Yeah, I think they fit perfectly in with the theme as well. Oh, yes. And I like the way you arranged them because they look like they're going to just scatter all over. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of a creepy feeling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the title, Infestation, is just perfect. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, that's a fear that I think a lot of us have about, you know, what if there's cockroaches in my house or mm -hmm. any other small terrifying beast yeah. and these are one of the more terrifying I think. Right, but that eyeball looking at you I mean they yeah. look so real people need to come in and see this show just to see the eyeballs yeah they're a lot of fun <laughs> and the artist uh, Tony Joe Tony Joe Kappa yeah I just met her myself um, she does great work all you know along the same line um, she works with uh, foam and um, prosthetic eyes and um, also there's a lot of repurposed animal fur in her work mm -hmm. and they're all very interesting yeah. and well, creepy. Well, I look forward to seeing more of her work because this is, this is fascinating. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's look at one more piece. Sure. Well, this piece by Alan McGee um, you chose as the sort of the postcard and the, and the advertisement for the show. Tell us why. Well, I, I actually had the opportunity to um, get this piece in person, go to his studio, visit him, see where he works. And um, uh, so it was the first piece that I really got my hands on. And I thought black and white, um, it, it would just be... Uh, graphic mm -hmm. and it's it touches on that political aspect that we haven't really talked that much about but it doesn't it's not taking sides um, so I thought it would be yeah. nice for the, for the I, I, it's it's amazing and it's sort of it's it's got everything in there you can you can look at different kinds of monsters and nightmares and and see it in this one picture you know you've got yeah. that corporate fear thing yeah. going on there. Yeah, and, and it's in the air. <laughs> it's in the air right yeah. now. I mean, there's so much about it. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely something I, I see in my nightmares. Um, and I thought that, um, yeah, I, I wanted this to have a, a prominent place in the show. Well, and I think using it to advertise the show has been great. Um, I, it, it, it really catches your eye yeah um, and and I think you're right the black and white makes it even a little bit stronger mm -hmm. in in drawing people in 
Well, if people want to see this, um, they need to get down here. We have a month. It's going to be up. Mm -hmm. Until and, the 30th. Yeah. And this is the UMVA Gallery at CTN um, uh, 516 Congress Street. And this, we just touched on this show. Yeah, there's, there's a lot so, of great pieces to oh see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's sculptural pieces, and, and it's just amazing. So thank you so much for curating this. It's, it's going to be on our list of favorite shows. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.